Hello, GED students. Super excited to do this example that Matt sent me on Gmail, light and salt learning at gmail.com. And this one is actually from the experience level practice of the writing algebraic expressions lesson on my GED math crash course. Reason why I'm super excited to do it, couple of reasons actually. One, it is so GED style. I mean like so super GED style. I wouldn't be surprised if you had something just like this on your test. It combines quite a few skills here. We're dealing with ratios. We're writing algebraic expressions. We're interpreting word problems. Three GED skills all in one place sounds like them. Uh, second reason I was excited is I don't really have anything like this on the crash course yet. It's long been on my to-do list. So so thank you, Matt, for getting me started. And speaking of getting started, let's go here. Okay, let's go ahead and read this. Uh, Manuel can lift 15 pounds more than Bert. Okay, that's interesting. Marty can lift 25 pounds less than Bert. But here's the tricky part. We don't know about Bert. Look at what it says. If Bert can lift P pounds. That's what makes this an algebraic expression. We have an unknown number. Instead of knowing about Bert, we just have a letter, a variable to stand in for this unknown number of pounds that Bert can lift. And then it says which expression shows the ratio of manuals hours to Bert's Okay, as usual, first thing we should do when we're tackling a word problem is ask ourselves, what are they asking us to do or to find? I know too many of you guys who just like to start randomly doing stuff without paying attention to the question. Guys, we've got to be close readers, okay? So let's go straight down to this question. I see a question word here, which, so which expression they're obviously asking us to write an expression, and indeed we see a bunch of algebraic expressions here, shows the ratio. Guys, don't freak out at the word ratio. You can just substitute the word fraction. Uh, and I know half of you guys are like, fractions are even scarier than ratios. Guys, I'm not asking you to do math with a fraction. I'm simply asking you to write a fraction, okay? This is not a hard skill. Stop panicking at just the thought of the F word. Okay, fractions are not as bad as y'all make them out to be, okay? so. Which expression shows the ratio? I'm asking you to write a fraction. And then I tell you exactly what I want in the fraction. It says of Manuel's hours to, and you can read that like the fraction bar, Bert's hours in this case. And order is super important in fractions and ratios. It makes a difference. So you're going to do it in the exact order you see it. The first phrase you see, in this case, Manuel's hours, is going to be in the top also known as the numerator of the fraction. And the second phrase here, Bert's, or Bert's hours in this case, is going to be in the bottom, the denominator. Okay, awesome. So let's go find the information we need about manuals hours and Bert's hours. If we need manuals on the top, let's go find manuals first. Here I see manual can lift 15 pounds more than Bert. So whatever Bert's is, 15, manual, careful. A lot of students just go, oh, 15. But that's not what it says. It doesn't say manual can lift 15 pounds. It says manual can lift 15 pounds more than Bert. So I'm going to need to start with Bert and then change Bert in order to figure out manual. So now I feel like I'm kind of going in a circle here because now I got to know about Bert. If manuals uh, ability here is related to Bert's. I can't know manual until I know Bert's. So let's go find that if Bert can lift P pounds. And that's where we all freak out. But don't freak out, you guys. You say, well, but I don't know what it is. Okay, if you don't know what it is, write the letter. Man, it, Bert can lift P pounds. So there it is. P pounds. Bert lifts P pounds. And then you say, what about manual? Well, what about manual? It says manual can lift 15 pounds more than Bert. Guys, I want to start with Bert, Bert's P, and I want to get 15 pounds more than that. Okay, I can tack 15 pounds on. If I want 15 pounds more, I'm going to add 15 pounds on. And right there, that's going to be the numerator, the top of my fraction. And already with the way I wrote these problems, you can already see what the right answer is here, but it not necessarily on the GED. So let's keep talking about this. But there you see 
there's manuals hours. That's what that says. It says 15 pounds more than Bert. Starting with Bert, add on another 15. And there you go, I have 15 pounds more than Bert. And then it says I want the ratio of manuals hour to Bert's hours to Bert's hours. Don't get distracted by Marty, you guys. Uh, that's another GED trick to giving you information you don't need. Uh, they didn't ask me to put Marty in the ratio at all, so I can totally ignore Marty. There goes those close reading skills again. I want Bert's hours on the bottom. So we already know Bert's hours. We don't even have to do math to fix find it. They told us Bert can lift P pounds. So what do they want on the bottom? They want those P pounds. They want Bert. And that's it, guys. Um, you guys freak out because you think I need you to do something with these letters, to do some math that some unknown kind of crazy math. Guys, you can't do anything with this. You don't know what P is. You can't add 15. You can't reduce the fraction. You can't divide. There's nothing you can do except write this expression. The expression of Bert. I'm sorry, let me say it again. The expression of manuals hours over Bert's hours. And I'm literally done here. All right. Awesome. So B is the correct answer. Um, if you have any questions about this, I know writing expressions is very challenging for GED students. Um, but do remember, don't panic. It's always multiple choice on the test. Um, and so that being said, well, I shouldn't say it's always multiple choice. I, I suppose they could do something I'm not predicting, but expect it to be multiple choice on the test. So even if you struggle with just writing an expression out of nowhere, we can go through and we can kind of look at these, uh, these expressions and get an idea of what's going on. And really here, if you just knew the order that you wanted manuals on top and Bert's on the bottom, that's really, B is really the only answer that looks anything like what uh, the problem said. All right, so again, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.